Thank you, Mr President. My question is to the Minister for Defence, Senator Reynolds. At any time did the Minister disclose to the Prime Minister that her former staff member, Ms Higgins, had made allegations that she was raped in the Minister's office? If not, why not? The Minister for Defence, Senator Reynolds. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr President. And in short, uh, no, I didn't. And the reason for that, as I've consistently said here in this chamber, that it was not my story to tell, it never was. So I at all times took my lead uh, from Brittany Higgins in terms of what support she needed uh, and who, who was to know about this and who was not. And the advice is always, whether it's from 1800 Respect, whether it's uh, from others, you always take the lead of the individual, and that is what I did. Senator McCarthy, a supplementary question. At any time did the minister disclose to any of the Prime Minister's staff that her former staff member, Ms Higgins, had made allegations that she was raped in the minister's office? If not, why not? Senator Reynolds. Hmm. Uh, I'll refer back to my previous answer, is that at all times I took my counsel from Brittany Higgins in terms of making sure she had, making sure she had the right, the right su support. And order. Senator Reynolds, I have Senator Wong on a point I of order. Thank you, Mr President. Um, the very relevance, uh, the question before we get to the justification was whether or not the minister had disclosed the fact of the alleged rape to any of the Prime Minister's staff, and I'd ask the minister to return to that um, question. Senator Wong, you've restated the first part of the question. Um, I believe the minister was being directly relevant with the answer, and she's concluded her answer. Senator McCarthy, a final supplementary question. At any time did the minister disclose to any other minister that her former staff member, Ms Higgins, had made allegations that she was raped in the minister's office? If yes, which ministers and when? Senator Reynolds. Well, thank you, Mr President. And I again refer you back to uh, I took my counsel at all times from the advice that I received and that it order. was about Senator Ms Higgins' Wong on choice. Of, I've got Senator Wong on a point of order. Senator Reynolds. Senator D Wong. Direct relevance, yes, it is about Ms Higgins, and she has made her views very clear, and we are asking you questions about your conduct. And the question that I'm asking you to return to, through you, Mr President, is whether or not you disclose the allegation of rape to any other ministers, and if so, when? I, I believe, Senator Wong, the minister is being directly relevant by it. Um, I believe... The, I, can't, I can't instruct a minister how to answer a question. I, I believe if the minister is explaining the reasons for a course of action that were raised in the question, that that is being directly relevant to the question. There's an opportunity after question time to debate it. Senator Reynolds. Thank you very much, Mr President. And uh, Senator McCarthy, in her question, is assuming uh, the nature of a private conversation, the private conversations that I had with Ms Higgins. And I've consistently... I have, I have consistently said that it is not my story to tell, it is hers. And I will not, I will not, privacy, her privacy and in terms of any conversations we had were never mine to reveal and they are still not mine to reveal. Senator Wong on a point of order. Order, direct relevance. We are not asking about private conversations with Ms Higgins. We are asking whether this minister disclosed those allegations to other ministers and if so, when. This minister is accountable to this chamber, Mr President, for her conduct. Um, I, no, she I'm hasn't interpreting the minister's answers as giving reasons for the course of action she took or didn't took, so I, I don't want to rule that as not directly relevant. Senator Reynolds? Uh, thank you, Mr President. And I say again that in the question that I was just asked in that last supplementary, it makes assumptions about what may or may not have been said in that conversation. And I am not, I am not going to say anything that breaches the confidence of that conversation. And you are you Order, are assuming, Reynolds, time assuming for the things has about expired. Senator McLaughlin. Thank you.